everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I have a treat for you. I reached out to Devotion Nutrition to see if I could sample their products. So again, I could give you another, another review of something that maybe you could check out or use or an alternative to something that you could use differently than something that you're currently using. <laughs> How's that for a little um, thought? So what I was thinking is, you know that I currently use a couple of different protein powders or protein drinks, and I have heard so many good things about Devotion Nutrition and their products, and I wanted to really give them a try. So I reached out to them again, and they sent me a sample packet of some of the things that they have, and I'm not sure they didn't give me any code to use or anything. I just let them know that I was going to be doing this on my channel and they were nice enough to send this out. So what I thought I would do is I would try this out with a couple of different recipes and maybe even do a couple of recipes that I normally do and then see how they turn out and how they compare with some of the other ones that I've made before. Now, the first thing that they sent me is some of their protein powder. And I'm just going to open this up really quick and tell you what they sent. So I have here two different protein powders. I've got the brownie batter and the angel food cake. So I'm super excited to try these. Um, the brownie batter, I bet you would make some really, really good either donuts or a waffle. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this one yet, but stay tuned and I'll let you know. And the angel food cake, super excited about this one. Again, um, pancakes, waffles, Donuts. I mean, I really need to do a little more research to find out what I can make with these. But just the angel food cake and the brownie batter are going to be phenomenal. I mean, just as far as as far as making different things and flavoring up again and getting that extra boost of protein in with your food. Now they also sent me this rainbow pack, and these are flex flavor sweeteners, and. Not exactly sure what's in here yet because I really didn't open it because I want to make sure that I opened it up on camera so that you could see, I don't know, I guess my reaction. Oh, before I open this, they also sent me a shaker, a shaker cup. So it's always nice to have a shaker cup if you want to carry your, um, your protein powders with you so that you can have a quick snack on the go. So I have this here. And... I don't know about you, but sometimes you are running around during the day and if you have your shaker cup already ready, you can just dump your protein powder in it or have your protein powder in your cup and then you can just stop and get a bottle of water or whatever you want to mix it up with. And it's easier to have that on the go versus having something that is really going to throw you off balance or you know kick you off your points for the day. So back to our rainbow pack. It says here that flex flavor sweeteners work famously with protein shakes, baking batter, oatmeal, yogurt, cereal, and coffee. So pretty much you can add it into any food or drink to get a little extra boost of flavor. There's a lot in here. Look, hopefully I can, um, I mean, that's a lot. All right, so let's see what we have. It's going to pour these out here. And it looks like we have creme brulee. Oh, creme brulee. I bet you that would be really, really good in donuts. Then we have pumpkin pie. Gummy fish. Another pumpkin pie. A cinnamon crunch cereal. Another creme brulee. Another cinnamon crunch cereal. Let's see if I can put the colors together. <laughs> Birthday cake. Birthday cake. All right, so this is definitely gonna be a donut. Um, we have golden butter, a couple of those, another gummy fish. Bananas Foster. What are you thinking? Waffles, right? And then a couple of fruity hoops, which looks like kind of like, I don't know, kind of like Fruit Loops. Couple of peanut butter crunch. Some Boston, ooh, Boston cream donut. And then mint chocolate chip. I don't know how else to do this. I mean, I just, it's easier for me to kind of slide them over as I'm telling you. Monkey bread. All right, so monkey bread. What are you thinking, bagels? 
I'm thinking bagels. Coconut biscotti. Ooh, let's figure something out on that one. We're gonna have to think. It, what could I use that for? Leave me a note down in the comments for the coconut biscotti on what we could flavor that up with. And I'm sure there's there's probably, I don't know, there's I could probably go online and see if they have like more recipes and such. Hmm. All right, sweet caramel, monster cookie. And it looks like the rest of these are repeats. Yes, lots of lot of flavors. All right, so I have all of these. And then also my friend Lisa had placed an order just before I had reached out to them. And she got these. And these are maple bacon. Maple bacon. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to make some maple bacon bacon bagels. That'll be really good, right? So let me get your set up on the camera, get my angle turned around, and let's make some bagels. Okay, so I'm going to show you up close what these look like. Here is the brownie batter, and you can see it's gluten-free, sugar-free, bloat-free. 22 grams of protein, which is always great. And here are the nutrition facts. And then here is the angel food cake. Again, 20 grams of protein on that one, 22 on the brownie batter. And then here are the different flavors that we have here. I'll try to go slow and smooth if I can. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited. If you can think of anything you want me to try with these, please let me know, because I think these are gonna be fun to play with. All right, so let's make some bagels. Okay, so today we're going to use the new, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. I just found it. The new Hungry Girl whole wheat bagel recipe. And she's calling this a three ingredient dough. So that's calling for a half cup of whole wheat flour, a half cup of fat-free Greek yogurt, and then a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now on her recipe, it does, she's got the recipe tripled from what I need for today. So I'm just gonna be making two bagels. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. And you can see, look, I finally purchased a baking mat, like not a baking mat, but a, um, a mat to roll my stuff out in so I don't have to do it on my counter anymore. I'm super excited to have that. That was one of my new to me gifts to myself. And if you're looking to for a mat, I think I have this one linked below in my Amazon store. Um, I try, I've been trying like heck to make sure that I get everything linked in there because I know that sometimes you see some of the things I'm using and you wanna use the same things and it's really hard to remember to link all those below. So I've been trying to just put them right in that Amazon, in my Amazon influencer page, I guess is what it's called. All right, so half cup of flour. And again, that's just your gold metal whole wheat flour. The next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take, um, I know you've seen me do this before, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just sprinkle it on my mat here so when I get ready to roll it out, I have that there. And then I'm gonna take the rest and I'm gonna throw it in my bowl. I'm going to open up my yogurt. And this is a New York yogurt. And if you've not bought this yogurt before, always remember that there is a piece of paper. I know it's probably not called a piece of paper, but there's like a, a film paper thingy and it sits on top and it's just to help with the liquid that accumulates on the top of your yogurt, which is probably just the whey rising. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out a half cup, just shy of a half cup. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and measure out a whole half cup. Um, I know when I add in this flavor packet for this maple bacon, it may require a little more um, liquid. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the whole half cup here and we'll see what happens. 
Hopefully we don't have to adjust it. All right, so point-wise, let's talk points. For the recipe that I'm using today, the Flex Flavors, zero smart points. The yogurt, zero smart points. The gold medal flour, five smart points for a half a cup. And the baking powder for a quarter teaspoon, zero smart points. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in right now too. All right, so we've got that in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this with a spoon to get it started. I don't know about you, but if you've ever had to stick your hands in it immediately, it's kind of messy. So we're gonna to try to get it a little more incorporated first before we get started. All right, that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is since we have that almost incorporated, now I'm just going to add in my Flex Maple Bacon. And I'll kind of do a close up of this one. And then I'm going to put this right into, oh, it kind of smells like maple and bacon. All right, we're just going to dump that whole thing in. Again, thanks for coming along with me while I experiment because you guys know I like trying new stuff. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, this is a little exciting. All right, so let's get this out onto our mat here and start to get this incorporated. All right, I think that's a pretty good consistency. Let's see if I can get this out. Just trying to get the rest of that flour that's in the bowl here. It's funny with using the whole wheat flour. It's used, we're just, I'm just used to seeing it just as like regular, regular white flour. So it's a little different. All right, I'm just gonna roll that in here a little bit more. All right, so um, I think that if you're gonna do this in the oven, you can do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half. I think that you can um, do this for 350 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes. And if you're going to do this in your air fryer, which is the way I'm gonna do mine, it is 11 minutes at 330 degrees. Now, my air fryer doesn't do 325 or 350 or anything but it does have the 330, which is what I normally make all my bagels at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll this out into a log, pinch the ends together, and voila, bagel number one. So let's go ahead and get this one rolled out. This is so much easier with this mat. I am so glad that I purchased this. This is the first time I've used it. So, all right, got that going. A little sticky. I'm just going to roll it in the rest of our flour here. Oh, I'm telling you, it smells like maple bacon already. Bet you this is going to smell wonderful as they're cooking. All right, so hopefully, let me see if you can see those. Otherwise, I'll take a picture, but hopefully, let's see what, so what we got. Yep, sounds good. All right, so let's get these in our air fryer. Again, that's going to go for... 11 minutes, 330 degrees. I'm just gonna pop these right in here. You know what, I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put an egg wash on them. I never put the egg wash on it, and then when I get them out, they don't have that, I don't know, the color that you're looking for. And when I first started making these, I used to do the egg wash all the time. And for some reason, I just quit doing it. I don't know why. Sorry, I'm gonna reach over the camera here and grab a little container. And then drop it in the sink, because that's what I do. All right, just gonna get a little egg in here. See if I can quickly gather my stuff that I need. 
just going to give that a quick little stir. And then hopefully I can find my little my little tool that I need quickly. Otherwise, I'll just use a spoon. All right, found it rather quickly, but that just goes to show me that maybe I need to organize that drawer. All right, I'm just gonna throw this on because I may make some more bagels in a minute. I don't wanna get any egg on this mat. So I'm gonna throw this onto a plate before I throw the egg wash on. All right. And tell me, when you make your bagels at home, do you put an egg wash on them all the time? Or do you kind of do like me and just kind of forget about it? Because that's typically what I do. I just forget to put it on there. All right, so I've got that on one. This on the other. And I'm going to pop that right in. So maybe I should plug it in. That might work, right? egg on my cord. Now I got to wash everything down. All right, we're going to back that down to 3.30 for 11 minutes and let it do its thing. All right, so stay tuned and we will come back with some yummy, yummy, some yummy bagels. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so now it's time to pull our bagels out. They just finished and I'm telling you my kitchen smells phenomenal, like phenomenal. So let's open these up. Check. Okay, let me see if I can. You know what? I'm just going to bring you over because I think it's much better if I just kind of bring you over. Check those babies out. I mean, I don't think I have made a better looking bagel in a long time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to let these cool off and I am going to give these a try. And wow, I mean, wow. Don't those look fabulous? If they taste half as good as they smell, I'm telling you, these are going to be winner, winner, chicken, dinner. So, all right, so I'm going to put you back down because I know I'm shaking you and jiggling you, and that's not, not good. So hold up. Let me see if I can get you back on the counter. Hey, you guys like my new door? Isn't it pretty? It's my new barn door that the hubby put in for me. I love him so much. All right, so we're gonna let these cool down. And as they're cooling, I went ahead and made a couple more bagels. I'm gonna throw those in, and then we're gonna give our other ones a try, just in case you hear the air fryer going in the background. You know why, because I'm apparently making bagels today. So, all right, so I'm gonna come back at you as soon as these cool off a little bit so that I can give them a try. Okay, sorry about the noise, but again, I have a couple more going in here. So let's try these bagels and see how, I'm telling you, they have to be delicious. I, I just, just the smell are just, oh, I can't wait to try these. All right, so let me cut into this one. Still a little warm. See, it's perfectly, um, perfectly done. All right, so let's give this a try. A hint of bacon, not overpowering, which is good. I mean, it, it's really good. I don't know if you if you wanted a little more, if you wanted it to be like total bacon maple. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so apparently you have to give it a second, and that bacon flavor just explodes in your mouth. All right, so taking back what I said, don't use two packets. Use one. One packet was plenty. All right, so winner, like winner. I'm gonna grab some cream cheese and throw some cream cheese on here and wow. All right, that said, stay tuned. Um, I think we're going to make some waffles next and give those a try and put the devotion protein powder to the test with that one as well. So. As soon as my second set of bagels gets done, we'll jump back in, I'll grab my waffle maker, and we'll try something else.
Okay, so we're gonna get started on our waffles. So what I have here is some Birch Benders pancake and waffle mix. And this one has 16 grams of protein and comes in at two smart points per quarter cup. We're also gonna use the Angel Food Cake protein powder. We're gonna use the rest of that egg that we used as our egg wash on our bagels. And then I've chosen the Monkey Bread Devotion and we're gonna add that in. So I've got this ready. We're gonna go ahead and we're waiting for our waffle iron to heat up. And once that heats up, I'm going to spray it with cooking spray and we're gonna get the mixture together. So let's go ahead and get this mixed up so that when it does beep and tell me it's ready, we're ready to go. So two thirds a cup of water, one egg, or should I say what's left of our egg? Um, this is my first time trying this Birch Benders. Um, I've heard really good things about it. So I thought that I would give that a try today. So we're gonna need a quarter cup of that. Our Devotion Angel Food Cake. Oh, that smells phenomenal. Do you smell things? <laughs> I know I can't be the only one that does that. Um, I like to smell it to see. I'm gonna smell this monkey bread too to see how this is. Oh, it smells like monkey bread. Oh, holy moly. If you get this, smell it. Like smell it before you put it in your stuff. Because I'm telling you, it actually smells like monkey bread. Oh, I'm so excited to try these. All right, so I've got that in there. We're gonna go ahead and give that a stir. And if you've seen me make this before, if you notice that your batter is a little thin, just wait a couple of minutes and it will thicken up. All right, so I've got that mixed up. And then we're just going to wait for our waffle iron and then get this started. Yeah, that thickened right up, so we're good to go. Come on, waffle iron. I'm telling you, it's just the smell. It smells so good. Now, I'm not planning on adding any of the um, any syrup on this. But once they get done, my girlfriend, Lisa, had a great idea. I'm going to put on some of this sugar-free caramel syrup and maybe some of this fat-free Ready Whip. So not only will it look pretty, but it will smell and taste delicious. All right, so that's, that's good. Let me grab something to spoon that out in. And I always try to remember when I'm making waffles to go ahead and get the waffle iron plugged in and heating up before I start mixing things together because it seems to go a lot quicker. So I'm just gonna spray that really quick. We're gonna pour some of that one in. Try to, I normally do this the other way, so try not to burn myself. There we go. Get the first one in. I always wanna turn it the wrong way. Does anybody else forget and put their cup underneath there and then it won't turn? I'm like, why is that not turning? Oh, it can't turn because there's a cup underneath there. Don't mind me. Do as I say, not as I do, right? All right, so put the rest in this one. I'm telling you, this smells so good. All right, so. Got that one on, I'm gonna flip that back over. And in about two to three minutes, it's going to beep and tell me the first one's ready. And then another, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, the second one should beep. 
and we should be good to go. So I am going to take a little pause here while this finishes. And once that beeps, we'll come back and I will show you the final product. Are you excited? I know I'm totally excited. I cannot wait to give these a try. Okay, on a side note, as you're waiting for your waffle iron to finish, it's like watching a pot of water waiting for it to boil because it smells so good in here and I just want these to be done. All right, here's our first one. I'm gonna scoot this back. Just so maybe you can get a better look. And sometimes mine turn out really good and they look really pretty. And sometimes I try to, because I make two of them, they look a little oblong, but I don't care. They're still gonna taste great. All right, so come on, second one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, instead of waiting for the second one, I think we're just gonna go ahead and grab a piece of this one and give it a try. I think that's gonna be our best bet. So I am just going to grab. All right, so I'm just gonna wait and give this a try really quick so that I can finish this up and have my waffles. Oh, there's our second one. All right. Well, that one's much better. Check that one out. Does that look better? Hopefully you can get that one. Much, much better. Okay, so let's give this a try. We're going to throw just a little swish of the Fat Free Ready Whip and just a quick squeeze of the syrup. And I'm hoping that's not even enough to equate to a point. Now, the waffles themselves, it's three smart points for both waffles. So what I have in front of you is probably, I don't know, zero smart points, maybe one, maybe one smart point. Maybe if I added another piece to it, it'd be one. But anyway, zero, uh, it's three smart points for both waffles. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and give this a quick little try. And um, just so you know, I already tried it without the stuff and it's phenomenal. So I thought with the caramel and the whipped cream that it would just be phenomenal. So let's give this a try. Oh my goodness. This is totally like a dessert. I would not have this for breakfast. I would have this as a dessert. It is that good. All right, another winner. I'm telling you right now, another winner. This is so good. All right, I cannot wait to try the rest of these Devotion flavors. So stay tuned um, over the next, I don't know, month or so, because I'm sure it'll take me a little while to get through these flavors, but I will be letting you know as I try them how they are. So yum, so good. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around. I'll try to, I don't know, like I said, I'll try to film some more of these as I'm making them. But if not, I'll try to, again, link it on Instagram. <laughs> as my dog's walking through here. I'll try to link it on Instagram as I'm using the different flavors so that you know which ones I've tried. So with that said, wrapping up from here, have a great day. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around with me with my channel. I hope that you're having as much fun as I am. All right, see you next time. Bye.